What do we got here? We've got right. this cool... So this is going to be the Muse 2 brain sensing headband. Okay. Uh, and the whole idea behind this product is that it actually has clinical grade EEG sensors. So it's going to be tracking your brain activity. Okay. With that, it'll also be able to track your, uh, your heart rate, uh, your blood oxygen level, how much you're actually moving around. Um, so the whole idea behind this is supposed to give you really tangible things to look at when you're for something like meditation. Right. Um, and it also helps guide you in that meditation. So if you want to... Can sure. I, mind if I throw this yeah, on? Yeah, please. All right. So it'd sit just like this. Okay. Right on your forehead. There we go. Okay. And then from there, you would actually be able to, um, it'll give you biofeedback during the meditation session. Okay. Um, so reading your brain activity, what will happen is say if you have your headphones on, mm -hmm. um, if you're in a calm, deep focused state of mind, focusing on the breath, you'll hear the weather kind of match those patterns. So you'll hear mm -hmm. nice, like uh, light rain in you know, a tropical rainforest or nice waves lapping up on the beach. Okay. Versus if you start to get distracted, the muse can actually pick up on that. Oh, and so it's giving you audio cues through headphones and telling you, hey, calm down, correct. I'm gonna play you rain. Right, okay. so the idea is that if you start Smart. getting distracted, you'll actually hear the, we the weather shift. So you can hear the winds pick up, the mm -hmm. rain get heavier, that sort of thing, um, as it's trying to cue you back to a deep focus or into like a deep focus. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's actually, um, I, I've worked in uh, uh, UX design and all that stuff. And it is um, very complicated to give a subtle cue like that, right. especially in meditation is probably the most sensitive time of right. not wanting to disturb someone. So. Right. So like, you don't want to be distracted or have a lot of things going on. So it's a way that like it, it will help guide, gently guide you back into being, you know, into the meditation or the meditative state or the neutral or calm state, it actually calls it. Right. Um, there's actually, after each meditation session, can I? Yeah, I sure. I'm gonna swap out those phones. Here you go, here, on the center. Right? There you Perfect. go. So this would be like an example of what it looks like. Okay. Um, and then from there, so you can see that how the brain activity actually adjusted on the bar graph throughout the meditation session. Um, and you can also see, oh, let's move this a little bit here. Oh. Yeah. And then, so then you can also see, so like during like the first 20 seconds of this meditation session, um, the person was getting distracted and they're able to pull it back. And then mm. so from there, you can actually hear the birds um, as like a cue that you're doing, that you were able to pull it back. Um, but from there, there's also different ones, like if you want to be able to control your heart rate. So what'll happen is they'll play a drum beat and the whole idea is you'll be able to like match the drum beat and then using the headband, you'll be able to track how accurate or close you're getting. Hmm, very interesting. I think it's super important too, because we finally reached a point where, you know, before, if you want to learn anything about your brain, you have to go to the doctor, right? Right. And this, our brain controls everything that we do. Exactly. So it's like, why not, you know, focus on this and learn more about the most important organ we have? Yeah. Cool. Should we uh, try to do something? I'm going to maybe try to meditate. Let's try it. It's like, so we'll just do a quick one minute meditation session. Perfect. Um, and so during this time, what I want you to be doing is just specifically focusing on your breathing. Okay. So we're going to have it. Is there a closing eyes or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. For this calibration, find a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Take it deep. Also, guys, if you got any questions about the Muse headband, make sure that you throw it in the comments right. now, so that way when we finish this demo, we can address those questions. Muse is now listening to your brain signals. Relax and let your mind flow naturally. So we're doing a quick calibration run, right now and then. Ready? Place your attention. 
good news. That's what she let's see. So, we're actually able to, I don't, I can't show Great you. job. So you're actually able to see in the beginning, like you were able to get in that deep focus. And then when you heard the first bird. Yeah. You know, it's actually able to track when you were able, like when you were getting those birds. And then when I asked you like to not think about it, or like we're not supposed to be thinking about the birds, we were actually able to pull it slightly back. Yeah. Um, and the recovery. So the recovery is going to be when you completely lose a, out of a, um, yeah, so let's take a look at this here. Yeah. All right. I was like, so the recovery is going to be completely. So this is your part. Oops. <laughs> here we go. This is going to be your results. Oops. Sorry. And so from there, it's actually going to be quantifying the whole thing. Um, right. So you'll get different points based off how well you did. And you get more points if you're in the deeper focus. Um, so you're also able to get rewards, which means so birds, which we didn't we were able to pull it back. Um, Wander. Don't worry, it's perfectly natural. It's a great opportunity to think back and reflect to it. What changes the session progress? So being able to provide this information really can help you like uh, hone in on like what, what your distractions are and where you're really struggling in the meditation. Um, mm -hmm. And then be able to go back and analyze that information and be able to see like, oh, you're right about 30 seconds in, there was a loud crash or whatever. So that explains why I got, you know, why you were pulled out um, and then able to get back into that meditation session. Hmm. That's very cool. I mean, it probably looks cool. It kind of reminds me of Google <laughs> Glass when I, I used to have Google Glass. Yeah. And so when I had just the band, it yeah. kind of felt like this. But um, yeah, this is very cool. And what, what's the pricing on this uh, So headband? the Muse 2 headband uh, is $249. $249. Okay, cool. Not a bad price to learn about yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's really cool. I, so I have trouble meditating. I'm probably the last person to <laughs> to be able to pull this off. So um, maybe I should pick up a headband like this so I can uh, make sure I'm doing it right. That that seems to be the big issue with meditating. You're like, oh, am, How, I, doing am I doing it right? Am I being distracted? What is meditation actually supposed to like? What am I supposed to be doing during this time? And so for them, it really makes it easy because you can just focus on your breath. Mm. and then hear how your brain activity is changing to get those small cues and then be able to look at that information. And it also rewards you long-term because you get to collect points, you collect awards. So it makes something that is usually like intangible, very like real. Yeah. And this is just the beginning of these brain machine interfaces. Um, you know, there's the emotive, which has an SDK and you can program it to switch on lights on and off or, you know, control VR and these kind of things. There's Elon Musk working on Neuralink, which is going to be a brain machine interface in which we can jack into the internet and learn <laughs> things from artificial intelligence in real time. <laughs> so this is just sort of the tip of the iceberg. And it's cool to see where it starts in the consumer grade, which is here with the Muse too.